Hey everybody, Logan here. Today, we're testing an oddball controller. Oddball throwback, that is. Okay, if you guys were around in that PS2, GameCube, OG, Xbox era, you might remember a controller. Oh, well, there's a company that's still around today, Nyko. They made these controllers called Airflow, where in the grip of the controller, for example, if you have Say you had a PlayStation 5, uh, nowadays you would get the vents over on the side and you would get air flowing through your controls. It had little fans in there that would keep your hands cool and they'd be powered by, of course, the console. You plug it in and that's what powers it up in here. Running for those of you who got them sweaty hands. So that was the big marketing back then. Dry hands while you're playing for hours. Well, looks like it's back. But now it's simply called Air Glow. Yeah. So apparently, it's not just the airflow on the side because it looks very similar. It lights up. So you get the RGB lighting and the airflow. As you can see, the PlayStation 4, but there's no touchpad. So we already know it's somewhat limited. Hmm. This is an interesting throwback. Let's open it up. Let's test it out. <laughs> See if it's any good. Alrighty, here we go. Look at that beautiful air glow. LED function, turbo function, air glow, Fan-cooled controller with force feedback function works with PlayStation 4. So, yeah, take a look at that. Wired USB connection, built-in cooling fan, ergonomic rubber grips, multicolor LED function. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. One air glow. One air glow. No NFC functionality. Also works with PC via USB connection. Oh, so there you go. If you're wondering if it works with PC, there you go. But it's funny that they said no NFC. Hmm. I don't see anything that could replace the touchpad. I don't think it has any touchpad functionality. Let's pop this open. Come on, don't cut myself. That would be terrible. All right, put you down to the side. Now I happen to find this, I don't know, last week, week before. Now actually, I think I found it a couple weeks ago, but I went out of town and wasn't able to make the video. So I figured, what the heck? What better time than now? And since many people still own a PlayStation 4 or play PS4 games on your PS5, which this will still work, you can definitely use it. Now, there is one thing Yep, that's exactly what I thought. This will not work on your PS5 uh, Slim because the PS5 Slim only has Type-C in the front and you need, well, Type-C to plug it in and this is not a Type-C. But we got a clear controller. This feels like pretty much every Nyko that's been out for the last two generations. Feels more like a Switch Pro controller because, yeah, those aren't analog. There's no way those triggers can be analog. This controller feels extremely cheap, I'm going to tell you that. Now, MSRP is $29.99, but... What else can you expect for a controller like this? All right, so I'm assuming button here, it says TP, not toilet paper. 
a touchpad. Let's take a look at the instructions quickly to see if it says how to use the touchpad, if that is the touchpad button. So yeah, touchpad function. You guys see that right there, touchpad function. So let's go down and look at the buttons. What does touchpad function mean? Air glow, two LED lights. Press the light button once to turn on and off. Press and hold the light button for three seconds to switch between breathing lights and flashing racing lights. Okay, here we go. How to use the TP, the toilet paper, I mean, touchpad button. Press and hold the touchpad button to activate the touchpad feature. While holding TP, use the left thumbstick to simulate the touchpad. Press L3 to input command release. To, okay, that's a little much. So basically, if you're playing a game with a touchpad, you hold that button and then the left stick becomes the touchpad. And to tap the touchpad, press in. Eh. It is what it is, I guess. So I'm sure they couldn't put touchpad technology. Yeah, it'd be a lot more expensive, especially with the fan right there. All right, so let's, let's plug this in, see what it looks like. So here we go. It's plugged in. When you plug it in, I actually had to plug up my PS4 because, like I said, I have the slim PS5 and it doesn't have a, a, a Type A. So just plugged in my PS4. So perfect. We're trying it on there. When you plug it in, nothing's going to come up. You have to hit the home button and then you're going to get your sign light come up. So here we go. Let's hit the light. All righty. All right. Hold it for three seconds, right? There we go. Oh, in interesting. Press it again to turn it off. Now, is it going to change color or... Oh, yeah. Okay. So there's only two functionalities. Light functionality, I guess you could call it, according to those instructions. All right, let's turn on the fan. I don't know if you can hear that. That's not really strong. I can't really feel let's let's take another look to see if there's Okay, you can start to hear the fan kick in. Has two fan speeds. Press the fan button once, on and off. The fan will turn on default blowing speed. Press and hold for three seconds to toggle. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's kind of loud. But you can feel it. It's nice. Nice and cool. Keeps my keeps my hands cool. Oh, righty. Otherwise, this, this controller feels rather, rather janky. And I was going to hook up my PlayStation 5 to try it out, but looks like we're going to have to kick it old school and just point the camera at the TV screen. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're kicking this video old school. <laughs> it's pretty loud. Imagine being the guy sitting on the couch with a bunch of your buddies, and you just plug this in, and then they just look at you and go, Really, dude? Really? I think that's hilarious. Now, one thing I'm going to warn you. I don't have any games on this PlayStation 4, and I have, like, no PS4 games. So I have a handful and they're all 2D games. So we're doing Castlevania. I wish I had a 3D game. I really don't because I have no, nothing for PlayStation 4. Sorry about that, guys. Um, 
So, it's really loud. Turn it off. Goes back to normal. Kicks up. Wow. Let's see. Listen to how loud that is. Imagine playing this. No input lag. Ooh, the rumble's actually pretty nice. Rumble is really nice on that. Look at that. Turn that off. Hear the buttons? Yeah, the these are not... I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, so the control controller doesn't feel bad at all. It doesn't feel like there's any input lag, but those fans are really loud. Even on a low setting, your friends are going to look at you. Unless you're playing by yourself, then someone's going to walk in and go, uh, what? Nothing. My hands are sweaty. Why are your hands sweaty? I'm playing video games. Is that all you're doing? Hey, good night, everybody. <laughs> but I do like the fact that it has the lighting effect. You've got a touchpad button instead of an actual touchpad. It's kind of a gimmicky way out of it. But it's not really how good the controller is or you're going to be using it for, you know, um, competitive play. No, this is just a fun gimmicky controller. It is 30 bucks. I would say maybe if you can find it at $20, that would be fine. I wouldn't pay the full 30 for it. It's an okay controller. Honestly, it doesn't feel terrible. It doesn't feel great. It does feel kind of cheap. I do like the rumble. The buttons aren't terrible. That plastic, clear plastic, you know, gives it that little interesting see-through, but otherwise I, it feels, it, it is slightly bit jank. So, Hey, if you want it, you think it's cool. Nyko makes some interesting stuff. They've been known to make some bangers and not so bangers. So I don't know. <laughs> I give a, if I had to give it a grade, I'll give it a C, flat out C. Um, you can get a better PS4 controller for less, you know, and you don't have to worry about losing a touchpad. But um, I don't know. <laughs> I can't. I, I can't recommend this to everybody. Maybe a collector. Maybe someone who just likes something fun. But uh, don't go out of your way looking for it. But hey, I guess that's what I'm here to do. So you don't have to waste your money on stuff like this. This is my job to waste money on stuff like this. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share this video. Tell me what you guys think of uh, the Nyko jank. I mean, air jank. I mean, air glow. <laughs> oh, what a fun controller this is. What a fun controller. So thank you, everybody. Again, hit that subscribe button. Uh, God bless, and uh, yeah, like we always say, be legendary. <laughs> Thanks again. Mm -hmm.